I'm BT. I'm Deanna Curry. And together, we are sorry we are canceled. That's right. We're back uh, for the second time. It feels good to be back, man. I couldn't wait for you guys to get back, man. A lot of stuff has happened in that time that we've uh, recorded. A lot of stuff. Oh, yeah? Such as? Uh, I, you know, I forget when, what was going on when we did it, but I just know uh, now, that, uh, now that we know, hey, man. Trust me, everybody's going to vote this November. <laughs> now that we know. Now that we know, everybody's voting. <laughs> what do we know? Uh, we do know that there's a black woman running for president, and, and now that everybody wants her to run, even her own party. It, but it's, it's amazing how her party is, you know, the party of, uh, the uh, of contraceptive, of contra but they had, they had no plan B. That's what, that's what amazes to me. They had no fucking plan B. They're all about pro-contraceptives, but their dude was fucking lost at sea, and they go, oh, what do we do now? <laughs> And Don't drink the water. Black woman, here I come to save the day. You know what I mean? Uh, is she going to save the day, though? Uh, man, honestly, I can't see it. because I don't think she it, wins legitimately. I mean, I, man, it's like this. It's almost like I said. I mean, it's almost like they always say. It's like the, the lesser of two evils, literally. No, I, I under, trust me. I understand why everybody say you got to vote for her. I get that. I hear that. I respect that. If that's what you want to do, knock yourself out. I'm not going to knock it one way or the other. I just think that this, the time period of it happening is going to cause Trump to win. That's just how I feel. And if he don't win, all you going to hear is civil war. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I mean, it, 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 not my president, bitch. How could somebody say that and still be able to walk around without being charged for inciting a riot? I mean, he's a, I, I know people. Because he's in charge of all the people who's supposed to do that. You go, the boss going to tell on himself, hey, y'all, come in here and arrest me. <laughs> Speak. Now, the nigga who signs their checks is in charge. <laughs> he's the one saying, I want to shoot people, yeah. and this is what happens. I, I feel bad for Joe. I feel bad for Kamala. Feel bad for Joe. How you feel bad for Joe? Because man, this dude, his son died fighting for this country. His wife, his his, his other kid, they died in a car accident. He's sacrificed so much for this country. You mean Joe and, Biden, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we don't let this man. We had no better option against Trump. Hey, that's not his fault. That's no, the no, party's no, no, no. fault. No, I, this is what I'm saying. Okay, that's, okay. This is why I feel bad for him. Okay. Because okay. he wasn't thinking about being fucking president the first time. When? Back in the 60s? No, nah, before, uh, before Hillary botched her shit. Joe Biden wasn't thinking about being president. He was cool being VP Joe, right? Talking shit. Then we watched fucking Hillary miss a wide open fucking layup. How do you do that, Hill Dog? You know, she did. She did a uh, who they do for the Knicks when I think they played the Pacers. He missed that easy ass fucking. Remember they played in the playoffs. Patrick Ewing. No, what, was it Ewing? He kept and he kept missing it. I think it was Smith. I think it was a Smith dude. It was, it was anyway. Anyway, it was one of them dudes. Like, she oh, had the work. easiest election to win. All easiest he had to layup. do was say is this guy is a pedophile. She she could have done a number of things, right? Which means she yeah. lost. And then what did the Democrats do? Oh, everybody found out how much everybody hates Hillary and there's no backup plan. Oh, I got an idea. Let's get Joe Biden because old people love Joe Biden, <laughs> right? Old people. That was the sticking point for Trump. He can beat Trump because old people like him and they'll vote for him. Old progressives. Old people don't like Hillary. No, actually, nobody likes Hillary. I mean, nobody realized she was not like... Like Bill didn't like, like Hillary, and he was married. <laughs> to he actually liked Monica better, but he's like, "Hey, she didn't fit in this." You know, and if this bitch didn't have my kid, I'd be, we wouldn't be sneaking around. He, if he if if he didn't have his daughter Chelsea, I guarantee you, Bill. That was like, a power you know couple. That was a power couple. Yeah, till he got in the White House. They killed together. They, <laughs> they set up. They, they set trafficked up hit, children. They together, set up hits allegedly. together. They went. The, they went. The FBI. allegedly, 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 allegedly. Hey, everybody took a picture with Epstein. Now, if you look back, I got to go through my old pics. Make sure I didn't take a picture with it. I, I was at a party with you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, I heard you got an island. <laughs> I'll be the one they let go. You know what, man? It's, it's, uh, I'm, I just so I'm saying this is why I feel bad for him because he 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 wasn't thinking about being the guy. Then he y'all came to him like, please save us, and he was like, fine, I'll do it, right? And then he got it and he won, and then immediately y'all were like, oh, this is fucked up. And, and, he got the and Joe was like, hey, 
I, I'm not, I, 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 I can't remember. Where are the kids? He got a case of the, got a case of the stumbles. You know what I mean? He's tripping over himself. His dog's biting people because there's that, cocaine in the White hey, House. That Cujo ass dog of his, man, they can't wait for that motherfucker to leave. I mean, that dog bit. Every, I mean, leave the dog at home, Joe. Let him be a guard right. dog at the crib in Delaware. So then they, you know, time moves forward. We got another election cycle. And he's like, yeah, I'll run again, even though it's clear, Joe, you should not run again. And what do they do to him? They work his ass to the bone. Cool. Days and weeks before the goddamn debate, he goes on the debate and he goes, ah, 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 falls asleep. And Trump's like, you don't even know what you just said. And he's like, man, I'm the patch for you. Fuck you. Right. And then everybody panics. Oh, shit. Joe Biden lost his fucking mind. He's an old man. He, get, he can't talk. He, 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 this is in charge. And, and then he didn't want to leave. Then you're me the, yeah, I of, of course he don't want to leave because he didn't remember it happening. <laughs> Why would he feel bad? He wasn't there when it was happening. That wasn't the Joe. Joe knows. <laughs> He's like, Joe, do you remember what happened yesterday? Uh, I was somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I went swimming with a bunch of little black girls at the community pool. It's, it's sand now. We covered it up because we didn't want to share. Hey, Joe, take these ginkgo biloba and uh, talk to me in the morning. Take these two ginkgo So then biloba. here comes Kamala, just after she just got done watching them shoot pie paw, right? <laughs> She comes in marching. We're never going back. Going back to what? What was there to go back to? To Trump? They're, they're coming. They're not, they're not going backward. They're moving forward. That Project 2025 is next year. They're not going backwards anyway. Oh, but they're getting it ready now. Right. So my whole point is this. It's like, man, if this is what we're fighting over, if this, if this is supposed to save the democracy, this is nothing but putting a fucking Band-Aid on cancer. It doesn't matter if it's Kamala or the next person or the next person. The way we run this country, the way this country operates, they, they, she raised, a, what, $100 million in 24 hours? People gave up their hard earned You say inflation's bad, you say the economy's bad, but these people were willing to reach in their pocket and give this person millions of dollars and those weren't after enough. she just stabbed this nigga in the back and y'all think she gonna save y'all, man? She didn't stab him in the back. She stabbed that nigga in the back. She had, she had to do what she had to do. She, they, she was there That's the all people option. ever have to do, man, is sacrifice. There's gonna be a point in time where you cannot keep moving the goalpost. You can't say you stand for something and then when a nigga they hands you $5, will. you move. They will always move the goalpost. I mean, because they don't have no rule. Politics is a dirty game. And she didn't, she didn't really stab me. It ain't back. a game, man. These are people's lives. Y'all playing with people's lives trying to pass these they don't laws. Care, man. They That's don't what care. I'm saying. But they, they trick y'all into believing that if this person's in charge, that they're going to make it better for you. I'm like, no, they're not. These people are fucking animals. What makes me so mad is fucking, you got Kennedy. Hey, by the way, Kennedy ain't the spring chicken I thought he was. He's like 70. Yeah, they're all old as shit. But, no, but he's a spry. So he, you know, he's like that Nick Saban 70. No, you know he, it's because no. he's been dodging fucking assassination attempts. That's no. why he's so alert. No, he Because he's worried about he ain't no assassination. biggest checking for his last name. You know, you know what I mean? You know what he did? You see the last video? He was like chilling in the home. They go, hey, there's a snake out here. He gets up, goes and corrals a rattlesnake, puts it in a box, and then goes back inside. and go, ah, all done. It's almost like they planted the snake because he was there in his room watching. They go, hey, there's a snake out here. You go. And he goes out, and he, and he gets like uh, a bucket and this and that. Like the bucket That's what I want there. my president to be, a fucking snake wrangler. Make well, better decisions. Well, metaphorically, metaphorically and literally, I mean, they kind of are snake wranglers. They're snake salesmen and snake wranglers. That's what I'm saying. Like, but he's 70. But he's a good looking. Like I said, he's a good looking 70. He's like that, 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 that Pete, uh, at Pete Carroll 70 from for the Seahawks. So what, you're going to be next week? You know, Pete Carroll. Oh, you uh, mother. You, you, you motherfucker. I propped you up. But I had seven. But <laughs> let me tell you something. If she gets Buddha, Buddha, uh, Buddha, Buddha, oh yeah, Pete Buddha as, as a VP, he's forty eight though. I like that. He's forty eight. Uh, and there's another one. Oh, what was he? He is speaks he, well. Yeah. He's so well spoken. But I tell you what though. That, hey, hey. Peter, tell you what you. Hey, want If you hear. think the Pride Month is gonna be lit, lit now, you wait till he gets in. <laughs> Oh man. man, yeah. If they get a gay vice president, they, they hey, they accidentally <laughs> accidentally post a Facebook live. He's got 
<laughs> you got somebody in the closet with the, with the, with the gimp outfit on. Like, what are you doing? Why? And you're going to get, no, Pete, no. Why can't <laughs> Pete just be a regular gay? Why he got to be the gimp gay? <laughs> no, not him. He's got somebody at the crib being a gimp gay. Like, it's Pete, all, no. Because all them politicians are into that freaky shit. Well, hey, it's what like. What they do at them Trump hotels and them hotels and people in D.C. Man, if you, if you could talk to some of those girls. What girls? The girls who. The, the call girls? Yeah. Oh, can you imagine the sick one? Not even the call girls. Ugh. I'm talking about them low level staffers, them interns. Oh, that, that those girls, the ones who fucking have to answer to congressman and senator. Yeah. Those girls, yeah, they'll tell you some stories. Well, it's like it's like you want to know like what a, what an athlete's like. Ask people in the locker. Ask like the uh, like the the the, the per, people in the locker room, like the towel guy or the whatever. The people that see them when the cameras ain't there, like the real person. Yeah, that's who you talk. I about. know all them staffers are on cocaine. Yeah, on cocaine. Yeah, all of them. Really, all of them. Can you like like it's like a bump? No, I don't know. what you need cocaine for? Where you going? That's true. <laughs> hey, I think be doing donuts in the fucking. <laughs> I go to Speedway in like eight minutes. <laughs> yeah, I time myself from from door to to the uh, to, to the to the uh, to the stoplight. Let, let, let us guess. Let us guess before you tell. Yes. Us. All right. What's your guess, Malik? From the door to the stoplight. Stop. Which stoplight? The one that. The one on the corner here. Uh, the neighborhood. Uh, with the with the uh, Ronald Reagan and 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 here in Washington Street or Main Street. Where you turn to get into yeah. the side. No, 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 at the top, at the top, uh, Ronald Reagan in, in the corner here. Oh, so out front. Yeah, you know where, where, where Speedway is over there? Speedway light? Yeah, where Speedway and, and yeah, yeah, up there. Oh, via wheels? Yeah. Oh, maybe. Come on, we on. 20 minutes, are you pushing it? I'll take, I'll take 30, 13 minutes. See, I no, no, I'm sorry. Eleven, eleven minutes. Yeah, eleven minutes. I was supposed to guess too, but you like oh, shit, sorry. So he said, to what I was gonna go twenty-two minutes. I twenty-two. Was, he was even better. He twenty-two. Yeah. But because I, I figured out a bump. Ooh. <laughs> you can knock that down in under Wait, ten. Wait, are you purposely going faster? Or you just yeah. I, what I do is I turn the chair around and go and just push off this leg, and I go faster. <laughs> Hey man, one thing you said, I go faster in reverse. I do. I go faster in reverse. They probably think you're a crackhead or something, bro. You know what? They don't because you know what? You know, it's funny you say that. They think of a crackhead. Is this? I, I, I repeated that only so people they didn't hear you. The only reason I think they don't think of a crackhead because it's funny because as I was I crossed, I crossed Ronald Reagan and I was going to the speedway and just then like you know some dude pulled in to get gas mm -hmm. and so that the way uh, going that way you know the the concrete's more smooth. And you can see him like, oh fuck, this guy's asking me for some money. So, you know, because I was doing that, you know, that one leg <laughs> like this, that one leg like this. He seemed like, oh, and I just kind of went my own way, and and then I came back, and he's like, oh, I guess you're all, I guess. <laughs> I'm not a beggar, I'm yeah. a cripple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey man, could you, you know, here it comes. Hey, could you uh, let me hold him to the back? Like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I never, you know, so, but it's kind of funny. You can see him, like, oh, excuse me, asking for some money. But I was like, nah, I ain't gonna do that shit like that. But it, I laughed to myself thinking that though. You Could know? you be so kind? Have you sir? considered stealing valor? What now? Stealing valor? Have Ste you considered stealing valor? What do you mean by that? Stealing valor? Yeah, like saying, <laughs> dress up like a Marine or uh, be an old veteran. <laughs> You know, those I'm glad you think that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 get, I, get some, I get some camo or shit. Hey, man. I served, man. Yeah. I was in fucking... Oh, yeah, um, I went to her. I was in Beirut. Yeah. Beirut. How old is this motherfucker? Yeah. Beirut. Is that still a country? <laughs> they didn't even call it war. It was a conflict back hey, then. Hey, it's still a country. That's actually a city. <laughs> to Americans, it's a country. Beirut's a country to a lot of Americans. I served in Beirut. Beirut? <laughs> The first time. <laughs> Why would he do that, Malik? Uh, wait, I'm trying to think. Have you ever used since you've been in the accident? Have you used your wheelchair to, to take advantage? Of to take advantage, you try to get some ass or something? Uh, maybe that. <laughs> Why is that the first thing you went to? Because I wasn't gonna try. Who the to fuck is anymore. passing out cripple pussy? I don't know. Look that up, Malik. Like, yeah, Google it. Is, is there like is there like a, a fetish for people that like to? Uh, they have people to come pick you up. There ain't nobody come drop off some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fucking cripple.com. <laughs> you and Lucas should get on that. Hey, look at cripple category on fucking Pornhub. Go ahead, Malik. Look it up and see if it's there. Some dude in a wheelchair just fucking. <laughs> he goes up and he goes back. It's called oh. break. The, <laughs> break the brakes. <laughs> hey, let's do a caboose style. <laughs> Instead of doggy style, it's caboose. 
<laughs> she kept backing it up by brakes. <laughs> Make sure you set the brake. <laughs> it's got to be a category for that yeah. shit, man. I don't it's know. like fucking Russian roulette. You fuck her at the top of the stairs with your brakes on. Let's see how good you is, bitch. Yeah, you about to get. You, about to you get said you could throw it back. <laughs> you said your pussy to die for. We'll see. <laughs> Man, that's that'd be a terrible game show. What, uh, what, what? <laughs> Cripple again. <laughs> Cripple again. <laughs> Cripple again. <laughs> Here's your host from the neck down. <laughs> Hi, I'm from the neck down. <laughs> hey, let's see. <laughs> and if you win, what do they win? They win better insurance, Johnny. <laughs> they win their own cripple van <laughs> with a chauffeur. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up, isn't it? Oh my god, that is the worst thing I think I've ever laughed. At. It is. It really uh, is. From the I'm, neck down. <laughs> I he comes from, out with a wheelchair. Welcome to another episode so, of Cripple, Cripple Again. again. <laughs> and we see if the baddest bitches can <laughs> cripple us again. Hey, don't laugh. I do. Hey, I do wheelchair <laughs> yoga. I do. I do wheelchair. What's I mean, wheelchair yoga? So it's like a sound. You're in a wheelchair, you do yoga. There's a, I mean, you sit in a wheelchair and you fucking. So ain't it just yoga then? You do this. Why? It's, it's wheelchair because you're in a wheelchair. You have people in a wheelchair. So if you got out of wheelchair, it wouldn't be yoga no more? It wouldn't be wheelchair yoga. <laughs> I mean, you're taking yoga from somebody who's in a wheelchair. So, but now, I, I, but now I know so how to So if get he's sitting in a chair and it, he's doing the same move as you, is he doing wheelchair yoga or spinning chair yoga? He doing, he's doing chair yoga. It's just yoga. But now, you're just now, doing yoga. But now, the fact that you're in a wheelchair, I can don't get change. on the floor. I do floor yoga now. That's floor. how much I progressed. I'm doing floor yoga. Nigga, so does space yoga. I start my first and day of sky yoga. I start my first day of rehab. I mean, uh, uh, PT tomorrow. You, uh, first day of physical training. You nervous? Physical therapy. What you gonna wear? Uh, <laughs> some shorts. Uh, some tennis shoes. Like, oh, one like tennis shoe. Like <laughs> one, one shoe. I'm gonna wear shorts. One shoe. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, just the one left shoe. shoe. Yeah. So, um, did you buy new shoes since you since you about to? Or are you just gonna fuck up all your left shoes? <laughs> need my right. Need my right shoes. My right shoe. I mean, look how look how swollen this fucking leg. Like it's, my foot is. It's foot this. Your right shoes are gonna be fine because you ain't gonna be wearing them. But your left shoe is gonna get. That's what I'm saying. Did you buy new shoes for your specific uh, disposition? No. You know. Otherwise, when you come back to regular shoe, your right shoe gonna be looking at your left shoe like nigga. My bad. You walking like this and shit. You know what I mean? How about you, working? People gonna be like, man, this must, this guy must be a real left foot ass kicker. You know what I mean? He must be putting, putting work. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause your shoes is gonna be turned. Yeah, they are. On one. Yes, they are. And another one gonna be. I can't know exactly how. Well, look at this. So fresh. And well, look at how. Look at that. I hey, gotta. No, no, no. I gotta turn. I gotta use those little bands and and turn them like this. Otherwise. My foot, see how it's turned like this? Yeah, y'all can't see it. And be thankful. You can't see it. Yeah, be thankful you can't see this. This is ugly. It, it's yeah. ugly. ugly. It looked like leftover Halloween candy. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 what do you call it, corn? <laughs> candy corn. Yeah, oh, shit melted. Can't, yeah. But it's, okay, it's got enough. other that's, that's candy enough. stuck that's on enough. top of it. That's enough. There's no need to get nasty. <laughs> There's no need to get nasty. Man. Your foot looked like a stepped on Reese's cup. That yeah. shit, brutal. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Hey, you, hey, you know what? Before I forget, man, did you see the video of uh, a lady getting shot in a uh, Oh, house? the old, yeah. She wasn't even old. She wasn't old. But you know what, though? 36 popped her in the face. But, uh, but I'm going to tell you this. There's no reason about, uh, I mean, she seemed a little off, but it's still, but they seemed like they were kind of. He knew what he was doing. Uh, no, of course they knew what they were doing, but they, but they, they seemed a little overly aggressive anyway like she had to show id and it's her house i, I mean she, she's in the house they called her I allegedly mean, he, he has uh uh white supremacist tattoos this man allegedly i saw them tattoos right. yeah run them run there, there's a reason he they, knew what he was doing they, she, she would have got shot regardless he, when they showed up that was the plan when they found out she was black he was gonna kill her and he just, i don't know i'm gonna kill her but i mean uh, I, that shit was premeditated like a motherfucker it's just the fact that I mean, man, when uh, he didn't want to get his med kit out, when, when he goes, when he when he goes, let me see ID. It's like she called you. You know she called you from that house. So why would you think she's? It, that's not you her know house. why. Yeah, you I mean know why? Because he showed up with an attitude, and he knew he yeah. This is my initiation. 
And he got fired from three other police departments. He got fired. Hey, you know what they should have done? What they should have done was if they would have used he and his partner as part of the Secret Service instead of that fucking, you know, <laughs> instead of instead of that motley crew they used for Trump. Trump for black would hey, be hey, dead right now. Hey, Trump never would have had to do that fucking black fist. Did he even get shot? Because when he was golfing, his ear was fine. You know why? You know why he was. Uh, if you look at the picture of the shooter, he had glasses. Bruh, the shooter had a cleft palate. He no, was never going to. He had glasses. I mean, the one time you should go to lens crafters, get your shit straight. Why like, would you have I got a, a big day tomorrow. Why would you have a scope that's already got the lens? Or five minutes before you see him doing this with a visine, like, ugh. And he's doing like, I'm ready. I mean, the one time you should go get your eyes checked because you got a big day. He didn't get shot at. That shit wasn't real. They and killed that, that man for no reason. He had that fucking that fucking that stupid stupid hat. Hat. and all those idiots at the RNC put that shit on their faces like dumbasses. Just uh, you know this what? shit pisses me off. To, to be honest, to be completely, I mean, it's like to me, I just don't see us going back. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like going back to what? I know you know. I can easily see somebody saying that, and it's not like we've ever been close, but. You don't know how dirty these motherfuckers are. But, uh, but, uh, but we're not going back, bro. He has ruined America. I mean, we're not going back. Oh, I mean, yeah. The you've Pandora's seen, box is open. You've seen, what, you've seen how it is now. I mean, it, maybe it's just me, but I just think things are ramped up now. Or maybe it's because we, now we have video evidence proof that, you know, like, we finally It's making, always been the wild, wild west here. It's always. But they now, make promises, they break them, and then they dare you to say something. But this yeah. is this is this is, I was I was driving down here. I was had this exact thought. I was like, how many more black people are gonna have to die in order for America to change again? Because America only changes when a bunch of black people get killed. What, what do you mean they only change? Like, oh, uh, when's the last time black people got killed that America uh, cared? Nineteen sixty-five. What happened in sixty-five? The civil rights movement. Surprise, which is basically uh, Black Lives Matter. They were they, they just killing I think, well, people. I think right? Martin. Luther, I think Martin Luther King dying uh, made made him go, huh? And I I personally think that the civil rights movement. It's just me talking out of my ass. Is what uh, what did in Kennedy? They it's the Kennedys. Yeah. Well, it? it's because they put it on TV. Like once people see that this is how my grandfather is, when I can see my grandfather's thoughts in real life that he thinks that all these people should die because of what they look like. That was the first time white people got to see for real on TV. Oh, shit. And here we are at this moment now in time where all these fucking radical right-wing white people are literally going neo-Nazis. They, they're, they're going full Nazi, and, and, and the argument from the right is that, A, we need to get these Nazis out of our party. It's they want to have birth control. When did being a librarian put you in the, on America's most wanted list? I mean, there's a, there's a cop, they say, in Texas. He, uh, I think he went undercover or whatever and found out, like, what books people were. No, he went in and, uh, and checked out some books. And, you know, he read them. Then he, like, I think he video recorded. And he's trying to get the librarian in trouble. Like, librarians now are catching heat. A librarian. I mean, it's up to your kid. If your kid gets a book and reads it, I mean, that's a good thing the kid's reading. I mean, have a discussion with your kid. Or whatever. I mean, it, it's, it, it's... I love how America is so concerned about children. The, the right will tell you up and down, oh, we got to protect kids. We got to protect kids. The second they get here, you try to defund their schools. You try to, uh, you, you make it hard for their parents to get uh, health care for them. Like, you put all these hurdles in front of these, these fucking kids you swear you kids. love so much, right? But we love the kids. Yeah. You know, you don't want them at drag shows. Meanwhile, you send them to fucking Catholic school where they get butt fucked by every collared person in there. Collared or collared? Collared. Okay, thanks. Every priest is knows somebody or is doing somebody who's diddling and then they and then they uh and you talk about you love protect kids but you don't you don't you still haven't cleaned that house the vatican still gets money so i don't want to hear all this i i love the child you can't let the child go to a drag show i i agree i don't think kids should be at drag shows but here's one thing i know for a fact Every person that takes their kid to a drag show either knows the performers or someone in that community, and they've had a conversation about it. Okay, let me ask you, okay, well, just your thoughts. What do you think about a kid going to a pride parade? 
It's a parade. I have no problem with it. Well, I mean, I just want to see. How about you, Malik? Any opinion on it? Like a kid, let's say uh, the kids. Uh, Parades are made for kids. I mean, no, no, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Have you been to the pride of? No. Parade? I don't go to clan no. meetings or pride meetings. <laughs> just, I, I ain't nothing in there for me. I went on accident one time. And, uh, accident. It was an accident. It's okay, Malik. Malik, it's all, Malik, you can be who you See, are. See, he man. said he went one time on accident. You can tell you about the other times he went. He on knew. Hey. <laughs> yeah. hey, he knew it was June. He knew what month it was. Yeah, it y'all was, said there's a parade where? Yeah, it went like it was March or April. You know, you get those months mixed up. You knew it was fucking. I'll meet y'all there. I gotta get my outfit together. Yeah, it, it, like, it like being in California, where like June and May and fucking October are pretty much the same month. You knew it was fucking it hot. Up what on month you, it was like. A parade? What could possibly? Oh my God! Hey, John, what could possibly? You look good. You're Did working. it rain? Why are there so many rainbows? Oh my, Malik, you're looking good. Thanks. You still doing the podcast? Shut the fuck up. Everybody's so nice here. It's okay. What kind Malik? of parade is this, Malik? It's okay, bro. Everybody's it's so okay. proud. Yeah. They're proud. This is a pride parade. Oh, y'all tricked me. So yeah, I mean, so you know, changed my shirt. But I was gonna say that I just think that a lot of people are dressed very. Uh, seducing. Seductive? Definitely. Seductive. So, For who? Kids don't know shit about gay until you tell them. But I feel like if you're wearing like a, a, a Speedo outside of... It'd be like a girl wearing... A Again, a, a, a kids don't... Kids don't know. They don't know. You, but if you're don't. worried... This is the thing y'all talking about. Y'all worried about the innocence of children, right? Two, three-year-olds, they don't know what penis but, but, but is. But we're talking about what age, though. Okay, okay, we're talking about like right. eight, nine. So if you're taking that kid to the parade, they're not thinking about anything about anything about sex whatsoever. They don't have any idea what that shit is. You get up five, six, seven, eight, nine, where you learn how to read things. But that's what I'm saying. The level of comprehension, right? If you don't want to take that kid to a parade, Fine. But you, at that point, you have to have a conversation anyway, because this is America. You would think. That sounds, that sound, I mean, that sounds good on paper, but you would think. But it, but, no, because if you take your kid out in public anywhere, they're, you're going to expose them to what? People who minorities. don't look like you, yeah. Yeah. who don't think like you, who don't speak like you. So, I mean, I'm like, yeah, I just want to know. I mean, but, but what they do, though, but they, what they do is they mimic what they see sometimes. I mean, it's like, uh, it's and like, that's when it becomes incumbent on you as a parent, parent. to explain exact. Oh, I was presented with this. I'm not ready for it. You should have been ready the second you had the kid. You knew this conversation was coming. That to me is the laziest shit. Uh, I'm not ready for it. It ranks right there. Is uh, you know you can't tell them nothing. It ranks right. That's lazy parenting. That ranks right there where you can't tell them nothing. And uh, what's another one I fucking hate? Where like you don't want to be a parent, so you you bitch about everybody else. That's lazy. I mean, if you want to be a parent, you want to keep the kid, fucking be a goddamn parent. Don't, don't have it be incumbent on somebody else. Be a parent. You know? It's, it, it, it's like anything else in life. Sometimes you got to have, have those uncomfortable conversations, like when the relationship is over. Sometimes you got to hey, look, this is the, hey, just, uh, we ain't getting along. Or whatever. It's like, I'm sorry, but it's just, it's, I mean, I, I, I mean, I finally had to say that to, what, she was a great girlfriend. I mean, she literally did nothing wrong. I mean, I mean, no one's perfect, but she was about a 98. I mean, dude, it was all me. I mean, she, and to, to the point I was like, I was like, listen, I, I go, listen, you just gotta go. I, I'm not gonna, I can't explain it, but I'm never gonna be that guy for you. I, I don't know why you're great. And it sounded like bullshit the way I was saying it, but it was a struggle. I mean, I felt bad to myself. I was like, fuck, she's doing everything. I go, listen. And plus, you know, no offense, I know it, this may sound sexist, but fuck, this is the truth. You know, sometimes women get older, and not everybody wants to get married, but you want somebody there. And it's like, a woman gets older, man, and everybody's options start running out, but especially women, I go, fuck, man. I need to, <laughs> no, seriously. I need, to start, I, I need to tell her, hey, you need to go and, you know, find the somebody. The, the clock is ticking, and I, I mean, never want you to expire at hey, my house. It's the truth, though. <laughs> You put all your eggs in one basket, and that basket goes, hey, you know, like, are you... We fucking? don't eat eggs here. Yeah, so Take your eggs in yeah. your basket and get out. So I felt bad. So I finally said, you know, I mean, it was, it was, yeah, I'm glad I, I did. Yeah, that's... A, it was an uncomfortable conversation, but it was like the truth, like, no matter what happened, I was like, I go, I try, and I just, man, the heart wants what the heart wants, and sometimes you could be... That's like, what they did to Joe Biden, man. No, you know what, I don't, like I said, I don't feel sorry for that, because, listen, they knew. Sarah, like I said, I said last week. Sarah Huckabee called it. She goes, you guys hate Trump so much, but who do you have waiting? 
Who you have in the wings? Who do y'all have waiting no, in no, the no, wings? No, 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 but, but you, it, they don't either. Okay, the, you know what? They're lucky that the milk expired on the Democrats instead of the Republicans because if something happens to him, God forbid, even though I don't like him, I still don't want nothing bad to happen. I mean, I really don't. So I'm not wishing anything bad. I wouldn't. Okay, but if and when it does, there you go. Ooh, because you know you fucked up, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like honestly, it's like uh, Biden called and it called him and said, "Man, you okay?" And said, "I denounce violence." And then it was what? Left, what? A, what a day how did Biden called him? What he could he? Trump couldn't hear. <laughs> no, he had he had he had a little a, a, a horn that that ram horn, huh? <laughs> he gave him about a day and he was back to being a dick. Bruh, he fuck. He, I told you, he did. He pulled one of those wrestling things where they get hit with a chair, but they blade themselves. Yeah. You know, and so it's like, oh, you thought he got split open? No, he took a razor blade, cut his ear real quick, made it look like he got shot. <coughs> Excuse me. Then he had that, that rugby scrum and then he yeah, just black power. Just, and now they're the Secret Service. Lady director, she quit. she quit. Like it's her fault that it, this it hit. It was. It wasn't her fault. I mean, this was the show. I do literally. Bro, he, what was she supposed to do? Stop the fucking fake hit that they put on? That dude literally had a, a ladder and a gun, and he's crawling. And all of the other people go, "Hey!" And you're telling there. me that she's been Secret Service, and they didn't think. Yeah, I'm, that, that I'm supposed good. to believe that, that the federal good. government is so completely inept. Yeah. No, that's not the case. They knew. This is what happens. The government knows and they allow shit to happen. That's what happens. It's all CIA control. They know. They know exactly what's going to happen and they allow so, certain shit. I was watching a, a, a thing on um, fucking TikTok where a former CIA lady, she was doing TED Talks and she was talking about in the fucking 1980s, you know, the in, uh, Mission Impossible where you do the face thing. Yeah. She oh. goes, we had that shit back in fucking. She briefed uh, the first Bush. Wearing one, he didn't even know until she was like, surprise, motherfucker. You know how scary that has to be. Exactly. So that's my point. If you, at that point, if, if she was working for the CIA and George Bush had no idea that they was had shit like this. So where they at now? Exactly. That's why I say whenever you see some crazy shit pop up, I'm like, no, that's part of, when, when it, whenever you see a complete debacle of competence in front of everybody yeah it's just like oh that's a setup yeah this person this this poor uh uh secret service lady she didn't have no fucking choice but she gonna come out and tell y'all and she gonna be on the front page fucking because 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 they're not gonna follow her they gonna her murder next, you, her next job if you watch any of these fucking tv shows where it's anything to do with politics or, or you know presidential shit the fucking blackmail scams backdoor deals if you know anything about politics all the dirt that these motherfuckers do are on camera all of it there are tapes of these motherfuckers snorting cocaine with hoes fucking fucking people they ain't supposed to be fucking doing uh, shit they ain't supposed to be doing uh, all that shit's on tape i get the cia's got all of that shit going to p diddy party and so then they start they they let you know you either play our game or you get the fuck out of here. And then you hear them niggas say, oh, I want to go spend time with my family. I'm resigning my seat so I can spend more time with my family. What? That ain't nothing but that person being told, you're in the way of what we got going on. And if you don't move, we're going to expose every fucking thing you did. So if ever Bill Clinton goes, I want to spend time with the family, you go, no, you not <laughs> He went against the program. Can you see Bill and Hillary on, in a station wagon going across the Every country? single time. It's the same thing in college sports. When a coach says, I, I'm resigning because I don't know. You got caught doing something you wasn't supposed to do. And in a safe face, you're saying you need to go spend time with your family. No nigga gives up a $5 million job to go spend time with their fucking kids they don't know because they've been working their whole life to get that $5 million job. <laughs> Unless they can get a job for five point five million. It's like, nah, man. I, every time that shit happens, I go, ah. Well, you somebody know when it gets the program. By the same token, I really think now in those big cities, I'm on the say Chicago, for example. I think there's cops that dress like they're black dudes and commit some gang member murders, and they just easily say, you know, like on say say South Side, right? Let's say somebody gets one of those kind of CIA kind of things and, you know, and they get the right kind of car and it's at night 
So if they look black at night, they ain't gonna have no light shining on them, you know. And you get the and you know how to dress. Bro, now that you couldn't tell, That's you you could we could be this close and I wouldn't be able to tell. I know. You, check this out. No, you know but I mean? it, no, but it's, it's <laughs> but it's the truth. Though. I mean, but yeah, but that's what they say about like in, in gang killings, they all oh, gang violence. Up. Well, they, sometimes the cops doing that shit, or they dress like a gang member, or whatever, or they know how to spray the right graffiti and get the gangs to go against each other. And then so they can kill each other. But the, like the cops were behind some of that stuff. And so, to, to that I say, you shouldn't be in a gang no way. That's easy to say, but also, but no, it's I, not. It's 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 very. But it's, I, I don't know. What, I don't, what is the gang bringing you? Well, but gangs stem from a lack of family, and a gang is like a family. And you're, and I don't care what anybody says. You're always looking okay. for accepting the people that accept you. Right, right, so, right, right, right. But yeah. if I'm the nigga in charge of that gang, and I we're work, welcoming new members. Right, one of my, I know what I came from. I know what I'm trying to protect. The last thing I want to do is add to my numbers. I should be getting together with all the other gang heads and be like, "Yo, what are we fighting for? There ain't shit in this neighborhood." Because they're throwing scraps to people in, in the bottom. You throwing scraps, you get at the top of the food chain, and there it literally is. It's more masculine, top of the food chain. So you get somebody, see a kid. Okay, so if they, a kid coming from a bad household, right? Maybe a, a single family, whatever, right? And these if dudes go, hey man, what are you doing? Huh? Come on in, man. You know, you good? You need something to eat? Oh, we got you, man. We got you. And all of a sudden it's like cool. And everybody's cool and shit. And, and they taking care of you, like, oh fuck. No, 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 no. I get the community, yeah. I get the community part of what a gang is. I right. understand that. What I'm saying is, is of course you do. you're in the community, right? Y'all, y'all, we protect this hood, right? This is our block. We must protect Nobody this house. outside the hood can fuck with what we got going on here. Yeah. Right? Right. If that's the attitude for every hood and y'all right next to each other why ain't the niggas in charge like yo why are we separating this if, if, if it two's better than one right so we we fighting for the same fucking thing we want the same thing you want your people to be safe i want my people to be safe i'm not gonna shoot up your mama you're not gonna shoot up my mama right our mamas know each other we we damn near practically family. We've been on the same block for this and for our whole lives. What are we fighting for? Money. What money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, where's that money? Okay. So track. if What's black people, if black people drugs, don't own, guns, if we don't own no drug manufacturing plants, we don't own no boats to these fucking drugs coming. We don't own no airplane industry. None of that is run by black people. So yes, somehow they have convinced you niggas in the hood that. Your life is worth moving that shit for them so that you can have a car with rims in a neighborhood that ain't worth nothing to them. And as soon as all y'all finish killing yourselves, they're going to come in, clean it up, and then sell that shit off. Well, we don't know because we don't live like that. So maybe their philosophy is, listen, you know, I mean, I grew up the way I did. So maybe they're like, hey, listen, you know, I probably ain't going to live long, so I might as well ball the fuck out while I got it. And they're not thinking that way. I mean, that's your thought pattern, but maybe their thought pattern is okay, totally different. Hey, and that's what I'm saying. If you in charge of this gang, you just, you killing your own people. I don't think, they don't care, damn. It, it's it's so, dog eat dog, and, they're, and they know what they're doing. And a great manipulator makes you think, hey, we're all on the same team, and they're getting what they want. A great manipulator does that, like in anything in life. No, I'm well aware of that. And what yeah. I'm saying is the indoctrination has been in place, and there's only one way to kill it. You got to have that mass extinction. That's the only way. And I hate to say that, and I'm not advocating violence. I don't want anything that, but I'm telling you, the Republicans have already made it clear what their plan is. They said it out loud. And then one dude said, it'll be as nonviolent as the left lets it. They've told, they've already acquired all the guns. They've got the ammunition already. They already have the attitude. You saw what that cop did to that woman when she had the hot water and she rebuked him in the name of Jesus. He shot her in the fucking head. So the attitude is there. What I'm saying is, is y'all, we can't put the fucking rabbit back in the hat, man. And I hate to be the one to say that, but. That's just so, how it is. So where do we go from here? You, you, there's nowhere to go. What do we do? You, you got. You can either be the ash on the wall, or you can ride this thing out. I got. Those it. are your two options. I gotta get it done before November. And it, it ain't gonna change. Well, I sent the invite. I'll see. let you read this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let me see. 
While he's doing that, make sure you go to buymeacoffee.com backslash sorry we're canceled. Become a cancel crew member for as little as six bucks. Oh, you might like this one. Am I the asshole for exposing my friend's fake charity at our class reunion? <laughs> I, 30-year-old male, recently attended my high school's reunion. One of my old friends, Jake. 31 male has become somewhat of a local celebrity. Uh, this dude's a hater. He started a charity that supposedly helps <laughs> veterans. Uh, that's how you get them. You go outside Stolen with the wheelchair valor. and you put the camo on. Stolen valor. It helps veterans. He's been featured in very small local newspapers. Many praised him for his efforts. Aw. At the reunion, he kept speaking about his charity. I've known Jake for a long time <laughs> and, have had many, and, had, and have had my suspicions. A few months ago, I did some digging and found out that his charity isn't registered, motherfucker, as a nonprofit. He has a website, but it's a regular company. I confronted him privately before the reunion, but he brushed me off saying I didn't understand how difficult it was to run a charity and that the paperwork was just delayed. At the reunion, I listened to him talk about all the good his charity was doing, like what, passing out wheelchair? <laughs> I couldn't take it anymore. I stood up and asked him to explain why it isn't registered after so long and why there is no proof that he actually donated money. Jake tried to defend himself, and it was obviously very uncomfortable for him and embarrassing. Some accused me of ruining the night and public humiliating Jake, because you're a hater. Others said they thought it was fishy, too. Jake left the reunion early. Am I the asshole for exposing my friend's fake charity at our class reunion and ruining his reputation? Ooh, that's a good one, actually. Yes. Yeah, and this is, how, this is how I'll tell you why. Because you only did it to spite this nigga. You didn't do it to protect anybody. You just did it to spite this nigga. And that's why you're an asshole. Like I said, a hater. Yeah, you was a straight hating on this nigga for getting paper in a manner in which it was getting him bitches and you was hating on it. If you was protecting people and was like, hey, don't donate because he's fake and he's phony, that would be one thing. But no, you let people donate. Yeah, it wasn't to the high school reunion where you were like, you know what? All y'all think he's this, but he really ain't. You just hating. For why would you do that? You don't care about your high school friends giving this guy. The, he's you a high school reunion. You, you, ain't, seen, I mean? you ain't seen him in years. <laughs> At least ten. At least ten, right? That's a high school reunion work. Because why would you wait to expose this nigga if it was that deep? If you cared that much? But he had the private. Oh, oh, hold on. What do you think? What do you think, Malik? Uh, ah, uh, man. You think he's an asshole? Yeah, I think it's a bit odd that he's still calling his friend and stuff. And that he did seem like jealous at the beginning when he was like, oh, he's a bit of a local celebrity, this, this, and that. But I don't think he's an asshole for... Because I feel, maybe... I feel like if he wasn't there and he was like, yeah, I think... And he's telling this group of his uh, high school friends or whatever that, yeah, I think that dude Jake's a scammer. I feel like what's the difference between saying that behind his back and saying it straight to his no, face? No, because you wait... You, he, to say it to his face. he waited till he was up there talking about his charity. Because he had he had enough. He goes, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm exposed. Maybe you know what? When he probably ain't writing that, uh, maybe, maybe the chick, everybody has that one chick from high school that you liked and she didn't like you. But maybe she was like, it, it wasn't Jake doing so noble. You go, noble? <laughs> what the fuck is that wrong about anybody? Shot. And she's like going, Jake. And she's like flashing and she goes, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> hey, Jake ain't shit. <laughs> this shit is rigged. Jake is the same piece of shit he was in high school. Matter of fact, yeah, we were the ones that broke in. We were seniors. We stole all that shit. And it was Jake's idea. Like it is now. Jake ain't shit. He ain't changed. So yeah, I think that's what it was. <laughs> he was a fucking hater. But bad. hey, but he did do, but he did do right. And Jake left with me look bad. So I'm gonna go, man. I hate to say it, but I kind of gotta agree with you. Uh, he he's kind of an asshole. I mean, he, he, he was a hater. Jake's a douche. Okay, that's yeah. fine. And, and the cops are going to catch him anyway, eventually. Yeah, I mean, and let them do it. Instead of you going, you want to fuck this in front of everybody. You Jake's a fucking freak. The, no, he's a phony. The only Jake's reason, a phony. The only reason you're an asshole is because you didn't do it to protect nobody. You did it to shit on Jake. That's why I'm saying you asshole. If you did it to protect people, yeah. I'd be like, nah, he's not hey. an asshole. That's the right hey. thing to do. He, he let you did it. You was like, nah, I'm going to wait till this hey, thing get he, up there. Yeah, I know he lied, right? He exposed himself and he goes, he's a local celebrity. Blah, blah, and uh, then right there to me, go, okay, he's a hater. That's like in the beginning, he's a hater. Yeah. Anyway, listen, we got to get out of here. Yeah. This has been another episode of fuck, I'm Sorry so, We're Canceled. I'm so glad to be back, man. Uh,
I, I couldn't wait for you we guys. We do appreciate you guys tuning in, rocking with us. Uh, you know, we've had so many layoffs and setbacks and things that happened, but sorry we canceled. Is layoff no setback? Anymore. I'm the only one that was a layoff. The reason for the layoff, I mean, shit, it was me. So before I, you, we had another long layoff. Remember, and that wasn't your fault. So well, yeah, it was. You go I, making yourself I was big, working because I was working. No, I mean, it was I'm my talking fault. about Wyatt. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That Just one? let me do it. That Thank one? Yeah, that's oh. what I was talking about. Oh, okay. The two major layoffs. Okay. And I wasn't trying to yeah. specifically blame you. No, I mean, I'll take the blame. You don't have to. I'll take the blame. We've had several issues on this podcast. We just want to thank you guys for sticking with us as long as you have. Yeah. As long as we are breathing and capable of doing this, we will do this. Uh, so thank you for all the support. Please go to buymecoffee.com backslash sorry we canceled. Yeah. Sign up. You get a bonus episode every month. Comments. Spread it to your friends, man. Yeah. I mean, uh, hey, I'm back. Doing the best I can. Start rehab tomorrow. Wish me best. Wish me luck so I can get back to working and... I ain't got to do no fake ass, you know, Valor fucking chariot. <laughs> <laughs> Outside Speedway. Come on, man. Help a brother out. Look at his foot. Look at his foot. <laughs> I'd rather not. And with that said, I'm Dion Curry. I'm BT. And that's Malik on the ones and twos. And like we said, by this time, you know the word. Peace. Peace.